In the 3rd century BC, the ancient Egyptian city of Alexandria was a center of learning and home to the Great Library. One of the librarians there was a man named Eratosthenes, who was known for his achievements in many fields including mathematics, astronomy, geography, philosophy, and poetry. During his time in Alexandria, Eratosthenes heard reports that on the summer solstice in the southern Egyptian city of Syene, the sun would shine directly down a deep well, lighting the water all the way to the bottom with no shadows cast on the sides. He decided to investigate this phenomenon further. On June 21, the day before the solstice, Eratosthenes planted a rod vertically in the ground in Alexandria and waited to observe its shadow on the following day. On June 22 at noon, he saw that the rod did indeed cast a shadow, meaning the sun was not directly overhead as it was in Sayean. Being a scholar of geometry, Eratosthenes realized this observation could allow him to calculate the circumference of the Earth. He knew that the sun's rays shine parallel to each other, so the angle of the sun's rays relative to the vertical rod would be the same as the angle between Alexandria and Sayean formed at the center of the spherical Earth. To determine this angle, Eratosthenes simply measured the rod's shadow and its height. Using basic trigonometry, he calculated the angle to be about 7.2 degrees. He knew there were 360 degrees in a full circle, so if he could determine the distance between Alexandria and Cyan, he could multiply that distance by 367.2 to get the full circumference. But how to measure the distance between cities accurately in the ancient world? Eratosthenes had a clever solution. He hired camel riders to pace out the route between Alexandria and Syene, counting the number of steps. He found the distance to be approximately 5,000 stadia. Based on standardized conversions, he determined that to be about 787.5 kilometers. Finally, Eratosthenes multiplied 787.5 kilometers by 360 divided by 7.2 and arrived at a figure of 39,000. 375 kilometers for the circumference of the Earth, compared to today's accepted measurement of 40,075 kilometers. His estimate was off by only 1.7 percent, a remarkable feat for the primitive measuring tools available over 2,200 years ago. Eratosthenes' ingenious use of observation, geometry, and even camel riding laid the foundations for measuring our planet. His approximate value stood for over 500 years, and his accomplishments highlight the potential of the human mind to deduce scientific truths with limited resources. Through creativity and perseverance, Eratosthenes produced one of the most famous calculations in the ancient world. It's amazing that Eratosthenes was able to calculate the circumference of the Earth so accurately over 2,000 years ago. Yet despite all our modern technology, some people still believe in a flat Earth theory. What do you think Eratosthenes would say to modern flat earthers who refuse to accept the evidence that the world is round? How can simple logic and observation, like Eratosthenes used, still elude some people even with all our scientific tools and capabilities today? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like this video if you want to see more content revealing the flaws in flat earth logic.